and welcome to this um, channel and we're very happy to have you again today uh, on our channel we are um, group of single people that uh, talk about Christian relationship how to marry effectively how to meet a Christian partner how to court relate and up to the point of getting married that's actually our objective and um, today we're going to be talking again welcome to another podcast with uh, uh, my three uh, hosts here my two hosts sorry uh, I have Dr. Obina and then I have uh, Joshua. Joshua here yeah. so and um, today we're going to have another topic why young people are delaying marriage Okay, so why young people are delaying marriage? Why are young people delaying marriage? So I want to hear your thoughts about that. And um, so I want to hear your thoughts about why young people are delaying marriage. I'm just going to get my glasses so that... I think I forgot my own. Yeah, so that I wouldn't be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I will probably get one. Okay, <laughs> get your glasses. Okay. So, today we're talking about why young people are delaying marriage and we'll go from the men's perspective, I guess, first of all, and then okay. maybe I'll give a little bit of why a young lady will want to delay marriage. I don't think there are so many young ladies that want to delay <laughs> in marriage. I mean, so many young people want to marry, but some things stop them, stop some young lady from, from getting married because of fears and many other things that would try to jump into and talk about. Uh, in this um, um, podcast, yeah. So, um, so what what are your thoughts, Joshua, about uh, why young people um, delay getting married? As a young man, from a man's perspective, why do you think a man will delay in getting married? Uh, yeah, I, I guess I could probably talk from my own experience too as well. Why I haven't gotten married at this point? Because <laughs> if you dial the clock back to say three decades ago. That wouldn't have been the issue. Maybe somebody at my age, whether Christian or even non-Christian, would have been married by now with kids, maybe three kids already. But I, I guess <clears throat> things have changed in our current circumstances for a number of reasons, not least in, in terms of economics, right? Somebody wants to be fairly stable in economically before they want to add another partner onto themselves. And it used to be that people got married and marriage became more like a cornerstone than they would build together. But mm -hmm. what I have seen talking to people is that marriage has moved from being a cornerstone to more being like a capstone. And what I mean is that let me try to get everything, get my degrees, get financially stable, then I'll kind of add marriage to it to cap everything and then I'll feel like I've accomplished everything. And, and so yeah and another thing too is that <clears throat> it's kind of because of the job environment and stuff it's also kind of hard to find people I mean if you're a Christian the likely place that you want to find somebody will be in a church setting but I mean many young people are not coming to church anymore and the few that are there is sometimes very hard to even connect with them and this is coming from somebody who thinks of himself as a social person and able to connect with other people. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I think the primary reason has to do with economic factors. Okay. That you, the fear of bringing somebody on if you wouldn't be able to provide mm -hmm. them a better life beyond what they are currently having. Mm -hmm. And so then you want to kind of delay that and make sure you have everything financially before you bring somebody on. Okay. So some of the few points. Okay, so financial. Okay, you have any thoughts about why young people delay get married? Why? Good question. I guess what comes to my mind is do we just do uh, how do I put it this way? Let's zoom out and look at it this way. Do we just want people to get married or is there a certain kind of marriage that we should be looking out for. Okay. I guess that will help. That will help me voice some points better. Mm -hmm. okay. Because if we're just looking at it in terms of, oh, why why aren't people just getting married? Just any marriage, just marriage. Mm -hmm. Then me personally, I will say 
that's not a good idea in the sense that given the data we already have already there, even people that even have money, like Brother Joshua was saying, they mm -hmm. have money, they have some things to in place. Yes. Still, it's like it's as if at times it doesn't even work out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when we go go the second the second option, meaning maybe they should there's a kind of marriage you should be looking for. Mm -hmm. Even if we say why are young people not getting married? Fine. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If that's the angle we want to take it, then I guess my own um, input or contribution is that. And I think this has to, it has to do with both, both the, the male and the female. Mm -hmm. okay. I, like what Joshua was saying, for the male, at times they feel this kind of burden or pressure. It could be society, it could be personal. Mm -hmm. Like you say, to, it's no longer cornerstone, it's more of capstone. They mm -hmm. want to, oh, I have a big house, I have money saved up, I have this, I have that. So, more or less, oh, I built the castle, the woman should just enter, mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But against that, just like what we, you know, a few minutes ago, Rajesh was reading something and I made a comment and you went against it. Mm -hmm. But the, the truth is that society is actually pressuring women. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm talking about in terms of Christianity or Bible, mm -hmm. they are trying to pressure women to beat them into a, a mold mm -hmm. that is actually detrimental to their mm -hmm. holistic well being. Mm -hmm. So, what, in, in essence, they are trying to make turn women into men. Mm -hmm. they, try, they, they want to build women into men mm -hmm. and this is where the, some problem comes in the area of you look at the woman the lifestyle she currently has like mm -hmm. you were saying mm -hmm. now what's the problem she doesn't want to go below that lifestyle if mm -hmm. she's going to get into marriage or relationship mm -hmm. isn't it yes. that is where that's the reason why I made that analog, um, differentiation to start with if we see marriage as young folks, if we see marriage as trying to fulfill God's plan mm -hmm. on earth, mm -hmm. then we've already failed if we start looking at it that way. In what way? In the, in the, in sense, in the sense of, oh, that the man should... I mean, it's okay, it's a good um, goal or ideal to pursue mm -hmm. for the man to, at least, if, if, he, if he's going to get married, to okay, provide maybe, the lifestyle... Yeah, maybe let me take you back so it becomes personal. Because okay. you have delayed marriage, right? Okay. Why? Why? <laughs> Simple. Now, personal, if you want to ask me why. Mm -hmm. Practically. Practically, I won't say I have delayed it. Why I say I won't say I have delayed it is because I've been... How do I put it? You okay. know, okay. Let, let me put it this okay, way. Okay, yeah. Look it, let, 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 let me count it. Let me count it for you. No, I know, yeah. I know where you're going. Mm -hmm. Almost 10 years ago, yeah. that was when the idea of marriage like became serious to me mm -hmm. now so 10 years ago put you in which age category not, not specific early, but mid 20s mid 20s yeah. About. yeah okay now the the point i'm trying to make is that for my own case i don't think it's necessarily finance per se mm -hmm. or i don't know what other variable we want to look at okay i mean i have grown from that point to this point, granted, mm -hmm. but I don't think it, my own in my own personal case was it was necessary finance. It was actually finding the. I don't want to say the right. right I, don't, I don't want to say right person. <laughs> finding the person that has either a similar vision with what I have, mm -hmm. or is willing to buy into my vision. Let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. okay. Finding that fit. That's my own personal whatever journey or experience, because the question is why aren't you young people getting married mm -hmm. and i try to rephrase the question in terms of if you just getting married uh, anybody can get married but no because 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 even if you redefine the promise to be what kind of marriage are we looking no at? no 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 i understand i understand the the question it's good but what i'm trying to say is that why why i try to rephrase it is because i've seen people my age age group that got married earlier and when they got married, you know, I thought I was happy for them. I thought everything was fine and dandy, you know. And before you know it, they say, oh, they are separating. Or yeah, they are yeah, so and that and was the reason why I wanted to, because if you move, dial back, say, three decades ago, right, yeah. they married early and the stats about their separation and divorce was very low. Yeah. And, Again, and so if there, it's about there, there the type are, of marriage. No, there are other reasons why that was that case three, about three decades ago, because society itself mm -hmm. put a premium on marriage. Which is not what we have today. Okay. I mean, today, even in church, mm -hmm. in, ch in church, 
the, the, stat, the date or statistics of separation and divorce is almost the same outside the church and the inside yeah, the church. Yeah, it's similar, yeah. No statistical is significant. Now, the, the yeah. point is this. Mm -hmm. If you look at the church back then, like three decades ago, yes. they were even stricter, you understand, on their stance on staying to... Yes, there might be issues where they have to resolve and all that, but it's so loose these days that... Mm -hmm. I, I, there was one, one case my friend was telling me about a friend of his that mm. the wife told him that oh that she needs to take some time off you know there's some language you hear of people in church when you hear those things then when you ask me that question I want to rephrase it immediately because I've seen people get married so fine so happy they look like a perfect match a match made in heaven and things just went south mm. so what what is teaching me what I learned from that is Marriage is not the now. It's not today. No, it has never been the now and the today. Because the truth of the matter is... So, so are those some of the elements those, that is those kind are, of holding no, no, that, people those, back? No, those elements have been there from time. If, yes. you, if you read history, those, these particular elements, they've been there. Mm -hmm. okay. The element I think holding people back, like you said, mm -hmm. for me personally, the way mm -hmm. I see it is, on the man's side, I would say, like you said, economics. Mm -hmm. okay. the, the world economy has changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, if we if we if we want to place that burden like that on the man, then of of, of course it's going to be delayed because yeah. the current the way things are going for a man to hit that stride, the man should be getting close to his forties mm -hmm. or mid forties mm -hmm. if he you know does the work and plans right. Yeah. So if you if you want to go by that metric, of course it's going to be delayed. But it, it used not to be the case. That's why I said that it used not to be the case but because you married earlier. No, yeah. because, no, I'm talking about the financial aspect. It, it because then, like once you graduate, is, once you graduate, you got a job. You can get a job that you can stay on and grow mm -hmm. in okay. at work. But now it's so volatile that oh. even the economy is so volatile that even if okay, you got the position like that, there's no guarantee that in five years' time you won't be laid off for no fault of yours. Or or maybe they didn't just th think of like the sort of marriage as building together not necessarily let me accumulate something oh you mean or then or then yeah no the, the way i see the way i think they, they saw it then was you know then i'm going to say it in my offense on people but then i think society let me not say first society help put some things in place to help women stay closer to their god-given god-given i don't want to say rule it helped them stay close to their God-given purpose. Purpose. I don't know how to put it. In the sense that, even if a woman was earning more than her husband, mm -hmm. she knows. She already knows. She doesn't need any counselor to tell her that. If I'm going to go into marriage with this man, mm -hmm. we're going in there to build together. Yeah. Even though I'm earning more than him, I I should be careful how I carry myself. You understand? So it will make things go smoother in okay. the home. But if you look at it these days, it's as if once the woman is earning a certain amount, she doesn't even, in church, you know, if it's outside the church, you well, might say fine. But in church, mm -hmm. because that's why I, I brought up the issue of um, if, we, if until we begin to see marriages trying to fulfill, or fulfill God's mission for us on earth. Mm -hmm. You often hear women, some women, not all women, so women say, oh, they're looking for someone to build with. Is it true? Well, I guess it depends on... It depends on the living. On, on the kind of... No, woman, no. Right? So, so, why, 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 want to build? Why, why, why I say this is that, remember, I'm talking about in the church. Yeah. Okay. So in the church, you don't believe that ladies want to build with the men? In the church, it's sad to say. This thing I'm saying, I don't like it when I observe it. It makes me... It doesn't make me happy. But what I've observed is that I've heard people say it over and over again. The world is already in the church, okay. in the sense that if we, if we say we are Bible believers, yes. finance is good, but we know that finance is not the all in all. Ultimate, yeah. There was something I read somewhere. I've forgotten in one book. Do you know what he said? He said, "If you want to choose a team, a team. There's a way he said it. If you want to cho choose a teammate, choose someone that you can be stranded with." Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Although it's secular, but it has some biblical truth to it. Can two work together? Said it's a yes. agreement, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. If we want to say, oh, why, why aren't people getting married early? Yeah. It is a good question. But the follow-up that I would like to raise is, 
yes, it's good to marry early if they are the right pair to start with. Okay. Because we already know that pressures, marrying early has its own unique set of pressures and you know, troubles yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah, so yeah. if we want to say, why aren't people getting married early and we want to, them to get married early, I guess, no, I guess, I guess, I guess that is not the okay. So what change in the course of apart from the economic dynamics, right? Yeah. He is saying that women of, changed from what I'm women understanding. Changed. Women changed. Women so changed. women are and now no, even no. in the church. You, you will speak to the women part, but I want to. That's what I'm pointing yeah. out because I'm just no, no, because, because I said that for men, men, generally men haven't changed. What well, for me, I think what men have done. I think it's both sides. No, no, I think for me, it's more of the system that have changed. changed. The system not, changed. Not the it, players within no, no. that system. The system changed, mm -hmm. but because the system changed, mm -hmm. look at what happened. Men has best, men have basically stayed the same, but the women changed. So what did men do? Men are now trying to adapt. Well, well, I, mean, I don't. I don't. Because, I don't know because think, think of it Men stay the same, but let me explain it this way. Yeah. Think of it this way. Mm -hmm. If the women stay the same, although the system changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The men will know what to do. They won't. There won't be much, you know, waves on the water. I gave an example earlier. I said, you know, this women empowerment. Now, someone might look at me and say, "Oh, don't I support women empowerment?" That's not what I'm saying. The way no, no. Let me explain what I'm saying. Okay. Women, because because I don't want you to make it no, the I'm, opposite gender problem. No, no, yeah. no, no. I want you to just based on your own personal experience. Cause, yes. Because if we, 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 we teleported you into Fine. the seventies or eighties, I'm sure you probably have five kids by now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fine. But then what? What do you think? Because number one, number your dad one. probably married early. Oh yeah, he, he married at twenty-nine. Yeah. Okay. Which is which is I, okay, yeah. on the on the men's side. Mm -hmm. I think one thing is some some haven't necessarily understood how the world works. Some, some men, some key parts of especially the financial aspect. Mm -hmm. Why I say that is because of the way they. So, so that of, is why they haven't married, or because of, you mentioned economics mm -hmm. because. If economics is a big factor, mm -hmm. now the question is, okay, friend, how do young people get the economics right early? Mm -hmm. That's why I said that. That's part of the problem. They've not yet understood how the economic part act, um, works. Because this mantra or this um, style of, oh, just go to school, mm -hmm. study, get a good job, and you'll be fine. It, it still works, but you have to now be, choose the path. For example, the courses or what to do for, for you to go that way. Not everybody understands that. For example, let's say someone says, okay, fine. I'm going to go study English. I'll give one practical example. Let's say I was an English major. Uh -huh. Let's say I'm young, you know, young folk, I went to study English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I graduate, mm -hmm. most likely I would not want to get the cushy jobs available now. Do you know why? Why? Because more or less I'll be selling my soul. Because those departments have, in essence, turned into, um, what was it called? Many of them have turned into indoctrination camps. Mm -hmm. All these policies you see, oh, inclusion, diversity, equity. Okay. So let's not digress. No, no, I'm not digressing. <laughs> we are. It's going. Okay. Yeah, it's going over. It's going off. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. I'm, 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 I'm going to tie it back. I'm coming yeah. back to that economics part. Because yeah. I said, I but said so that, that we don't lose you. Are you not? No. <laughs> because here it's simple. The, you are okay. saying that so, so you have a number of things you mentioned. Said economics. So economics is part of it. What are they again? Economics is number one. Number two is the lack of um, either will I say male role models or. Lack some male room models. Right male yeah, yeah, they don't have the right male yes, models model. to guide the yeah, young folks, to look, okay? look up to. to look up to, okay? And I think for me, like I said, is the financial aspect that is yeah. pushing many people. Mm -hmm. But then the right understanding of how that plays into marriage. Do I need to have everything figured out financially before I bring somebody? Yeah. Or that understanding that maybe bringing somebody on board will kind of unlock other things for mm. me and yeah. so yeah. i mean i think many young people have taken the ladder not the former to be able to make everything before i bring somebody okay. yes and yeah. that's the so, financial aspect yeah. you talk mainly on the financial aspect yeah that is so is there any other aspect okay you said male figure and um 
also and I, and I think there is also another thing too. about the fear of commitment the I mean commitment. I do have a friend not a friend I, I wouldn't call him a friend like but not really we were in the same project so we happened to talk and mm -hmm. he has a fiance and cohabitation and everything and I'm familiar with the data on cohabitation mm -hmm. and how that doesn't really lead to right. marital success not and everything so then I was like why are you I mean you definitely like this person that's why you are in the relationship in with relation them. with the person so why is stopping you to kind of take it further yeah and he says well like you know the idea of commitment cool. and so many young people so yeah. why will they be afraid of commitment do okay. they feel like they will tell no, them no, no. To get married i don't think that person? i don't think that's the issue the issue is this when people lie to themselves mm -hmm. they think they are smart mm -hmm. yeah but you can't fool god mm -hmm. let me put it this way you see, many people can cohabitate mm -hmm. for yeah. 20 years. Mm -hmm. yes. But once they get married, they go officially and get married, problems start. Mm -hmm. But why? The reason is because marriage is divine. No matter what people want to say. The devil fights. Marriage is divine. You can do any other thing, fine. But once you say, oh, I'm going to marry this person. Yes. That's why when you were saying this thing about, oh, your colleague that is mm -hmm. cohabitating and the fear of commitment. Mm -hmm. That's why, you see, most of the discussion, I try to bring it back to the Bible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And since we are, most of our audience um, Christians. should be yeah. Christians, yeah. if we follow, if you follow what well, but you wouldn't expect a Christian to cohabitate. Yeah, no, 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 I, I, I get it. Cohabitate. No, I get it. So get this was going from a general uh, point of view. Mm -hmm. um, I get it. Like this stuff of marriage. Why is it that you say the the data shows that cohabitation doesn't that necessarily mean, improve the yeah, chances I mean, and this of event. Yeah, because the whole idea of cohabitation, as I have spoken with other people, is just simulated to see. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I, I understand. I mean, I have colleagues, they also say the same thing that you have to test and try mm -hmm. so that you see if you are compatible. compatible. That's why yeah. when people tell compatibility, I say it's nonsense. It's for Christians. Yeah. I'm not talking generally now, specifically there is for some Christians. level of. Do you know why I say it's nonsense for Christians? Tell me. Yeah. Why did the Bible tell us that we are new creatures, number one? Hmm? Number two, why, is, why did he say that we are brethren in Christ? Okay. Think of it this way, you have a brother, you have a sister. That brother or sister might be the worst human being on earth. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change the fact that you people share the same DNA no. or whatever. Well, well, no, because one of my pastors says something which there is so much wisdom in it. He says there are so many will of God in the house of God. Mm -hmm. And he talks about the whole idea of having a, um, a fingerprint. Right. Okay, okay, and, okay. and blueprint yeah blueprint is mm -hmm. right but then mm -hmm. the fact that there is a blueprint doesn't mean that yeah yeah. It's going, yeah, yeah yeah exactly so i don't think the idea of compatibility it depends on how it is mentioned and explained no, because it's not utterly no, no generally mm -hmm. generally when you hear people talk about compatibility yeah. mm -hmm. basically what they are trying to say is oh i just need some this person to fit to to fit my i don't know how to put it a particular set of stuff. Why I say that is nonsense yeah. is because if you look at biblically, yeah, I think it was John Piper. I don't know who said it. Mm. He said marriage is one of the best places that God sanctifies. Yeah, both yeah, parties. yeah. That is true. Yeah, yeah. no. If if, tests, if yeah. you look at it that way, you see that compatibility or no compatibility, this thing you, you people need to grow. Yeah. And look at what the Bible says. I love this particular verses. Matthew twenty twenty eight, Acts twenty thirty five. Mm. 2020, Jesus Christ says, I've come to serve. Mm -hmm. yeah. Acts 2035, what did he say? It's more blessed to give yeah. than to, to receive. receive. Yes. Just these two verses alone, if couples can practice it, you see that all this compatibility problem won't be there. To give and not not just to receive. It is yes. more blessed to give than to, than to receive. receive. So everybody is trying to give. Yeah, both parties are trying to give in the marriage. The, yes. Mm -hmm. You see. That's why I say when these discussions come, I like I like to stay with the Bible because. But the, but the idea of okay, so how do you think people are defining the idea of compatibility? Let me put it this mm -hmm. way. Ah. I mean, apart from I've got to give a practical example. I've got to give a practical example. Mm -hmm. This person talks too much. Mm -hmm. I don't like people that talk too much. I don't talk too much. We're not compatible. Well, because mm -hmm. or this person. Look mm -hmm. at this person. This person just likes wearing bright colors. Person has no fa uh, I haven't, fashion I haven't, sense. I haven't heard anybody mentioning those things. Have you? I'm telling you, real life practical. Our people that have explained that that is their compatibility. I'll, I'll let, me give you, let me be giving examples. Yeah. Ah, this guy, this guy looks very strict. Oh. Mm. I don't think we are going to work. I, mean, I like freedom. I like to be free. So we're incompatible. Um, this one is in some of this. I'm telling you, is in church. 
So that's why when I tell you that this incompatibility stuff, to me personally, for Christians, is nonsense. Why I say it's nonsense is this. Even personality-wise, if two people have opposite personalities, mm -hmm. yeah. if they are believers and that's God's way for them to be together, mm -hmm. it can work so beautifully that... I don't disagree with that. So that's why I say... it doesn't mean that it's immaterial. It means that don't recognition... You what, don't you get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? The recognition is there. Personal, you have it. It's your mm -hmm. own. Mm -hmm. But the way people are raising it as if that's it's a deal issue. breaker. Yeah. It's not. No, that I agree with you. I'm not it's saying not. it's a deal breaker, but the fact that you don't teach that I say, oh, you don't bring about it. I think it's no, something. No. Why, why, is, why I put yeah. it down there? Because you said it's nonsense. And if why, something yeah. is nonsense, no, that then doesn't matter. you don't need to give why, up. Why, do you know why I say it's nonsense? Yeah. Remember in our discussion the other mm -hmm. time, you asked me what my personality type I told you. Yeah. And that's why I say it's nonsense because if I, if I want to bring that up, mm -hmm. even for me personally, I know that I'm wasting my time. Because how many people will fit whatever mm -hmm. compact you understand what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. just put it down there, let's look for more important things that should so fall in place. You, are you saying that compatibility doesn't matter? Why I say it is it, it matters but it's it shouldn't be primary. It should because let me put okay. it this way. Let me put it this way. So that means people who are, that say, Okay, I'm quiet, I need a woman that talks a little or um I talk and I need a woman that is a little bit quiet. Let me put it this way to you. I'm quiet. It's not important. If I say I want a woman that is quiet also, that would be ideal for me. I'll just chill. But I'm not even considering that. Okay. Because to me it's if you look at it on the scale of preference, there are better it's like it's like number twenty. It's you know the the temperament of the lady, her her her, her, her personality, like quiet or not quiet, doesn't matter to you. At this stage, it's like there are more important things that like I need what? To, so what are those things that that would stop somebody from getting married that you're not seeing? No, for example, for me, for me, okay. personally, is it a Christian life? Is it the way the person thinks? Is it you know what I mean? Let me put it this way. For me, there are some things I look out for. Number one, number one is somebody might be a Christian, mm -hmm. but the person might not be for me. Yeah, yeah, that's, I, that's I, I agree. That's correct. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, someone might be a Christian, mm -hmm. but the person, how will I put it, is not mature yet. Yes, and doesn't know that. It's not much. So there's wanting to be self to uh, to know to understand yourself to an extent, mm -hmm. and be willing to learn. Yes. But if you are discussing with someone or interacting with people, yes, and you can't within a few short periods, you can't gauge where you are, your level with that person. Yes. Some people don't have that discernment yet. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's it's like okay, even if this is going to work, this person doesn't even know where they fit in this scale, and. That's my own because I'll tell you. Something. So those are some of the reasons why, for me, you still haven't married yet. I'll give you one example. Mm -hmm. At times when I meet people, I keep quiet. I let them talk. Mm -hmm. you, when you when you allow people to talk, no, no. they will tell you about themselves. Mm -hmm. When they keep talking, mm -hmm. this person talks to a point where you know this person is talking nonsense, mm -hmm. but you keep quiet. But the person keeps talking. Mm -hmm. You keep quiet. It gets to the point where you just want to chime in and you know gently bring the step, but the person sticks. At that point, you're like, okay, I give up. Well, meeting somebody for the first time. No, no, not for the not first, not for the first time. time. <laughs> no, I'm talking so, about. So, so those are some of the reasons why you haven't like. No, I'm just, I'm just telling you my experience. Of course, if God says tomorrow I'm going to ma get married, He's going to bring someone there in my. I will sit by the yeah, this is the person. Okay, so if I understand you right. One of the reasons why a, a man was a youth, a man like you, for example, yeah. is not getting married because they're not finding the right things that they're looking for in a woman. Exactly. Okay. Now, you know, some people would say, oh, that, oh, am I, I'm, I'm uh, trying to uh, oppress women. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, let me make it clear. No, let me make it clear. the real definition no. of patriarchy. No, patriarchy, <laughs> yes. No, let me make He's it very patriarchal. Let me make it clear. <laughs> I don't want liability. Everybody should listen. Yeah. You don't want liability. <laughs> I don't. Okay, what, so, what do you mean by that? Let me tell you something. To bring if a woman is an asset, mm -hmm. yeah. what people don't understand at times is, uh, let me not say for men in general, but mm -hmm. many men, when they see a woman and they know that ah, this woman is an asset, you think they're going to just be... Okay, so what makes you think... Okay, now let's... I know maybe, it's going off topic now. Maybe you should talk about in your interaction with yes. young women. Okay, when well, my interactions yeah. with young women, the reasons why some young women will not want to get married is because... Um, mm. 
some young women are afraid because of the rate of divorce mm. and the kind of things that happened in some homes. Some people have gone to some homes and mm. they didn't like what they saw. They didn't like how maybe the man behaved with the woman. They didn't like the atmosphere in that home, in that marriage. And they felt that if that's what it is, then they would rather still wait or just be alone and that it's burdensome and that maybe it's going to be like a bondage. Like if they meet a man, some women are not so patriarchal. Like they don't think that that the man that they marry should just only be the one to tell them where to go and let's just go like that. They want to be able to have their own input. They, they, some people think that the men, some men don't listen. Mm -hmm. you know? So they feel that they met a guy and you know when he talks he's all about himself and he's so full of himself and he thinks he knows it all and, and all of that. And they feel that if they get into that kind of relationship then they will not have a word, they will not have a say and they might lose themselves, mm -hmm. you know, just because they want to have a home, they want to have a marriage, but they have a personality too. Mm -hmm. So if he doesn't respect that they have a personality, they have a mind of their own, then there's no point that maybe that's not even the right person. So they're trying to wait for that right person that they have like an image in their head mm -hmm. of who would respect them as a woman, of a man that will understand them, that will be patient enough to um, to live with them, mm -hmm. you know, as the Bible says, of course, live with them with wisdom, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> to treat, of course, that's oh, it's just a simple Bible. Do you know why I'm laughing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, you know, I've told you this, and I don't know, I remember I've told you this, women are interesting creatures. Of I people. know, they are very interesting, and that's why God brought them to men. Do you know why I laughed? That's why God brought a woman to Adam. No. That, we're very interesting. Do you know, do you know why I laughed? Yes. No. And that is why when I see the way some women handle these things. Yes. You know, it's like you're trying to eat your cake and have it. Mm -hmm. well, you made you made a point. You said God said we should draw with them as the weaker versus with wisdom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Understandable. Now <laughs> behave like the weaker versus you know, stay <laughs> your lane. No, no, you're not getting the point. When God says it says you should dwell with them with wisdom. Of course. But what, as the but, when he says but, and he added it uh, as the weaker <laughs> vessel, as if that okay, they are what just deal with them with them. And don't forget that at the end of the day, she's still a woman. Even after she does her gagra, she's still a woman. Do you get? Understood. She's still a woman. At the end of the day, you are still the one to protect her, you are still the one to still love her in spite of everything. Let me ask you this question. And, I'm sorry, um, let me ask you this question. Yes. Go ahead. It's just like your your son and your daughter now. Yeah. The, you people you people are walking on the road. Yeah. You say, come here. Why should I come here? Come here. Why should I come here? Leave me alone. I can take care of myself. Mm -hmm. what, what will you do? do? What will you do? I'll explain to him why he should come here. And he still keeps like that. What will you do? No. When you explain to him. It depends on how you talk to people. <laughs> I am telling you real life scenario. No. I don't agree with that. Okay. So, so what is the import? I want to understand the import. The import is, she made a point saying that <laughs> God said men should do with them. I should protect them. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, see, even in church. And this is not just me saying, I've discussed with also some yeah, yeah, brothers yeah. in church. Uh -huh. There are some women. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not trying to bash women or anything, but there okay. are some, mm -hmm. some in church. Mm -hmm. It's sad, because it's not what you would expect in church now. There are some women that are just unruly and out of control. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. They are not, 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 yes. You know, there are some people that, no matter which way you try to, you know, come at it, it's like, mm, this is just no good, just drop it, just let it go. I'll give you one person, and there are some people I know that I discuss with people, these people fully at times. Tell them the way it is. Mm -hmm. I'm watching them 27, 28, 29. It bothers me because, number one, I know they are women. Yes. And number two, what do you mean you know they are women? I'm just making a rhetorical statement. He knows what he's saying. Women. They are women and their clock is going. Oh, that's what I want you to say that. He doesn't want to say it. To, they are women and their clock, they have a clock. Because he's mentioning the age. Yeah, that's, what I, that's what I wanted to say. But so he said it's a rhetorical say question. It. No. When I think of it, I say, it is one thing. It, 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 do I, I, try to, I try to put myself in their situation. No, I'm serious. I try to put myself in their situation and say, there's, there's an adage, there's an adage, wait, wait, there's an adage, there's an adage, there's an adage, there's an adage in mm -hmm. the language that says, you don't learn left-handedness in adulthood. <laughs> okay. In essence, 
There are some things they should be learning in this waiting period. Mm -hmm. But it's as if they have no clue about it. Even when you try to tell tell them, it's as if they have something in their head or dream, like Sister President was saying, in their head. And, and I'm looking at it years going. Now, the question at times I ask myself is, is it when this person hits 35 that the person just suddenly wake up and like, oh. So you think age hey, would kind of no, no, make them I'm just, I'm just trying to certain personality. No, it's not confirmed. It's not. Let me put it this way. Someone made a, someone made a point like this. It says, women, why is it that you people don't want to cooperate with men? And it's a, it's, it's a real question. No, you're here. You're no. talking about the unruly people. Because yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I want to be able when to When you see someone is unruly, what do you mean? In the sense that, you know, incorrigible. There, are some, there are some people that, even when they are wrong, they don't, yeah, okay. and you try to even, gently, it's not as if you're trying telling them, oh, you're wrong. You even gently try to, you know, present it to them. Yes. They will just find, in fact, what you'll be hearing from them will be this walk. <laughs> you know, there are some things you I mean, I, there okay. are always so, there are okay. always work people, both in the male side and in the and, female and, side. And, and no, I'm thinking as a I, 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 I find it very hard to mean. completely go with you on that. And no, and that's that why is, I say some, so that not is, all of them. And even some. with those people, Wait. and the reason is that I found that in my own self, but I was able to make that journey, right? Okay. Like ten years ago, even if I was wrong and you told me I was wrong because of pride and arrogance, I would still be entrenched in my position. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. But then, so what changed? Yeah, and I, it's a good question. I came to that recognition that is not a good way to live your life. Okay. Right? You need to be open to learning. And that changed dramatically when I moved here in 2015. Okay. And I became open to other perspectives. And I started listening to other people. And I came to the recognition that, I mean, what is the point on sticking to what you think is right and is wrong yeah. and going... So I believe people will be able to make that journey. Somebody would still be saying things, but once they go home and all things are quiet the they same. know to themselves that this is wrong and they're able to make that good for you so, and yeah. thank god for you but the question mm -hmm. you remember when i mentioned the age factor yeah that's why i say you watch this thing i'm saying it's not something that happened one year two years i've mm -hmm. been watching it five years six mm -hmm. years seven years when it's like what the bible says when will it happen or when will it be mm -hmm. so when will the realization come well it comes yeah. to people at different times Agreed. now if the person is definitely not thinking straight and outrightly just not listening then it's funny life is funny you know the other time um your friend mm. i don't want to mention his name mm. he was saying one time that he has a sister mm. that oh my god she doesn't listen <laughs> she's so difficult but she found a man yeah yeah, made yeah, her listen. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah there are she found a man that he said he doesn't know what key she used <laughs> this yeah. man used to handle my sister yeah. my sister just became soft yeah my I, sister just yeah, just for some she just people. loves him the key is love mm. the way he applied his own love is different from the way you that is watching okay the day 29 30 yeah, be going. <laughs> your own key of love is not uh, it doesn't enter her love your key yeah, doesn't people, enter her love and I, so if that person my own point is this if that lady is a christian yes a child of God, and you don't have any problem with that Christian. She's a child of God. Mm -hmm. She just has her own thoughts and ways, and she thinks that that's the right way. Maybe because of her studies, her association, her friends, the company that she keeps, or whatever it is, or who she listens to on YouTube, mm -hmm. or on social media, or you know, messages and what have you on the TV. Pastors that she follows, female pastors or male pastors or models that she thinks she's looking at. A point will come in that person's life. They will meet somebody. Yeah. That will just get to them. And say, look, I just love you the way you are. But you know, if you keep going like this, look, look, let, just listen to me. Listen, hear me out. And the person explains to them, and she's like, oh, okay. I've never seen anybody explain it to me this way. Simple. Because I, I was talking to one of those youth, and she was arguing with me about dating. Mm -hmm. okay. She said she must date. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, I was trying to understand. What do you mean by date? Mm -hmm. Do you mean, I mean, not courtship. But yeah, dating, yeah, yeah. like we must be in a relationship, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I was trying to say, okay, you are a Christian, so how do what kind of relationship? Mm -hmm. Like, must you? So if you work with this person, doesn't work, then you go to another person, mm -hmm, doesn't work, mm -hmm. and are you going to go through you how many a, men? A connoisseur of relationships. Yes, even if you don't sleep with them or anything, mm -hmm. because you are a Christian, mm -hmm. but how many like? Will you have to? Are you going to do it for five years here and go to the next one for five mm -hmm. years or? Is it going to be like a trial? Don't you mm -hmm. think that you should pray and let God guide you and lead you and just like, no, but still I want to know him, I want to date him. And, 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 you know. the, and the problem with the idea of testing is that if it doesn't work out, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. At the end of the day, it dashes your hope 
and finding a proper marriage. It always leaves scales. There's always yeah. some some so. scars. Like the way it hurts, then you go from one relationship to another. But it took me a while to explain to her. I have to explain what I meant by it, by you know, getting to know someone. I said like, it's not wrong for you to be the person that you want to marry eventually. Like if you're afraid and you have known the will of God, you want to marry somebody, you are sure that God is leading you to this person. Mm -hmm. There's no there's nothing that stops you from becoming friends with this person right. and knowing them. Starting that knowing relationship and even if you have to extend your courtship. Because you think maybe yeah. I don't think I know him enough. Rather than do it this short, I want to know him more. Like let's not marry yet. Let's still cut and still talk to each other and still know each other and then start developing that friendship. So that because in dating, maybe the end goal of that man is not marriage. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't know what he's looking for and both of you have different points yes. of views, you you are thinking marriage. Mm -hmm. This is going to marriage. He's thinking no. I just need companionship, I just need someone that is my friend, mm. that, that one person I can always talk to. Mm. Then you are on different page, pages. Mm. But you want someone that is on the same page. You know that in this relationship, we are going to marriage. Mm. That's what we are going to. Mm. And all the talks we are having is to brush off every mm. um, rumples mm. and wrinkles mm. in this relationship that is going to marriage. Mm. Yes. And then you have an end goal. We want to marry in the next one year. We want to marry in the next two years. Mm. Right? So you're working towards a goal. Yeah. Because if you don't have a goal, then you're going nowhere. You're just beating about the bush and wasting your time. And after I had explained the way it is, I don't want to give all this oh, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. explanation. It was really intent intense discussion. And she mm -hmm. said, Oh, do you know I didn't see it that way? Okay. This makes more sense. Mm -hmm. And this is just to say that there is no woman that, uh, that will not find her man. Yeah. No, Except if God says otherwise that this no, one no. is going to be alone. Or oh, this no, no, no. man is going to be alone. Yeah, yeah. There is always no matter how she's going, let her go. Oh, yeah, yeah, she'll yeah. find the man that will cool her. No, no, no. See, personally, mm -hmm. I right. believe that. So and the only thing I know that is see. As long as she's a Christian, mm. pray for her. Mm. And if you think that it is mm. so bad, you can refer her to right kind of mentors that can Sister advise princess. her. <laughs> Sister you know? Princess, let me tell you this thing. Now. Yes. Let me open my heart a bit. Please go ahead. Open it more, please. Some people don't understand why I say some of the things I say okay. and why I stand like that. Mm -hmm. I tell before I, before I decide on a particular stance, mm -hmm. it can take me a year, two years, three years at times. Take mm -hmm. me reading different books, different points of view before I yeah. come read the Bible and come to a particular to conclusion. Point. Okay. People are getting married. I'm mm -hmm. happy for them. Mm -hmm. But the question I often ask myself is, what kind? Maybe it's just why I am. There are many things that I put into this question. Mm -hmm. What legacy is this marriage going to leave as a unit mm -hmm. in this life? Okay. What legacy would the parents individually leave as as uh, you know as individuals for, from that marriage? Okay. What will I say? What part of God's plan or will mm -hmm. will that marriage you know fulfill? I'll give you two examples from history. Look at the family of the Wesley family. Mm -hmm. okay. They had problems in that family, both yeah. husband and wife. One of their sisters, that one is another story. Yeah. But at least, if you look at Charles Wesley and John Wesley, yeah. the, the legacy, the, the impact they left on, on, on the world. Yeah. Another family... You know, know John's marriage was... I, I understand. Yeah. But what I mean, generally... But that was still the, an impact. The impact that they left is still felt till today. Yes. Many of the... Hymns, despite many of the, the songs, hiccups in the despite marriage. Despite the hiccups in the marriage. Even yeah. he himself will tell you, oh, I blew it. Let's not go there because it's going to take time. The history of that one. Another family we want to look at is the um, Princeton, the uh, family in the U.S. Um, Jonathan Edwards. Edward, Jonathan Edwards. Okay. Yeah. If you go and read their history, the family lineage they've mm -hmm. produced so many in influential people in the in the world. Okay. Presidents of colleges, different um, medical personnel. Mm -hmm. So you know, these are some of the things I look at. But you because. Because he said something, and that is very modern American evangelical idea, okay. and the, that has to do with the idea of legacy. No, no, when I mean legacy, what I mean is, if we look at the Bible, if we look... Because they weren't obsessed with the idea no, no. of having a legacy. Yes, it, they were just... It's, 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 about, it's fairly modern. It's wrong. You need to go... You know, before I say this no, thing... No, 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 tell us, sir, I want to know... Yeah. They were not writing it, oh, I'm trying to... But the obsession was not there. That's it was there, but Who? they weren't... I want you to go and read 
either go read their biographies or their journals. Uh -huh. and what if you read, mm -hmm. okay, let me give you an example, mm -hmm. David Brainerd. Mm -hmm. If you read his journals, mm -hmm. he's not saying, oh, I want to leave a legacy. No. Yeah. But when you read what he's writing, his plan, his purpose, what mm -hmm. he wants to do, yeah. it's essentially that. That's what I mean. Yeah, but he just what, he what just follows God's purpose what? for his life. That yeah. doesn't mean that it's what, what, a legacy. Because for you, because it's so there is one thing about bringing the horse before the cat and the cat before the horse. Okay. They live their life and hope that the Lord will take care of them. Oh no no no, that's not the way it went. That no. was what. That's, jo jo Jonathan Edwards do wasn't you know, living his life. Do you know all the kids that I'm giving? These kids will come to do this. They will come to change the world. No, no, no. To that's that. not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this: <laughs> what? Yeah. If you look at the way they lived their lives, mm -hmm. how they, oh, uh, let me use um, um Susanna Wesley, John, yeah. John and Charles Morgan, yeah. for example. If you, she was the one that this statement is attributed to. She said, mm -hmm. "Whatsoever that doesn't either draw you closer to God or do this to you, it's sin to you." Mm -hmm. Yes. What I'm trying to say, if you look at their convictions and how they try to either train their children or live their lives, yeah. essentially what they're trying to do is to do something that will leave a trail, leave a mark. That's what, but, 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 the children's but, but, life. That is, that that is, is their family life. That is, that is what different. I mean. That, that is, is what I mean. That is different because the first question that you asked yourself, and that is what you brought up and yes. I wanted to push back on it, is that... Okay, people, what, what word should I have used instead? You know, people, no, it's that obsession of it, right? Because Hebrews 11 tells us that yes. all these people follow their promise but never inherited it. Yes. They never, they never, felt like when Abraham, when God said, I'm going to destroy Sodom and Abraham yes. interceded, mm -hmm. God never came back to tell Abraham, because of your prayers, I help um, not yeah, escape. Yes, yes. He never found the impact of it, oh, yes. yeah. right? But then modern Christians, we know that. It's what is my legacy going to be? No, no, they are so no, much no. obsessed. Let, with let, let me put it this way. Yeah. Let me put it this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, there are many people that talk, but it's just talk. <laughs> I'm serious. You know, all this is I'm you know, saying. You know why? You know why? Because all this American is, evangelical, and I'm saying American because I follow them a lot. Well, when luckily for you, I don't. All this is I'm saying. <laughs> Most of the things I'm when saying I, come from books that are oh no, so when I talk four hundred years old. <laughs> oh no, no, no. When I talk about the American evangelical, I'm not talking about this modern day people. I'm talking about the 18th century, the 19th century. Mm -hmm. When they want to reach out to people and they want to raise funds for it, mm -hmm. they go with metrics. How many people? How many of these yes. people have I? It's it's metric based. Yes. Yeah. If if you are giving the, and it goes back to the impact. Mm. If I went to this colony and ten people gave their life to Christ, mm. and I went to this colony and one mm. person gave their life to Christ, yeah. guess where they will put much of their effort? Mm. Where they will see your time, mm. and because of impact, you they see, want to broaden this their thing, impact. This, this thing you're saying is mm. not what I'm saying. Because because you brought the idea of legacy, and let's, let's it sounded let's, like let's, you have an obsession. Let me ask you this question. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah. What, what do you think? I, what do you think legacy means? Because you are looking back. Legacy is what you leave behind. Yeah, it's impact. Gone. Correct. Now, let me ask you this mm -hmm. question. Why did God say in Genesis mm -hmm. uh, 18, I believe, mm -hmm. 17 to 19, why did God say, oh, I'm going to tell Abraham what I'm about to do because he's going to tell and instruct his children on the way of the Lord or the way to follow. Yeah, but was that Abraham's obsession? No. Calm down. Because if you look at it, let, 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 who would you say follow the Lord? Let me keep let me let me keep going. When God says Abraham, mm -hmm. and I shield an exceeding great yeah. reward. Mm -hmm. Abraham, what did Abraham tell God? See, yeah, God, you are saying all these things. But I don't have an heir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was it bothered about an heir? No, because that's just for uh, it, it is normal. No, 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 it was a promise. It was yeah. a promise. It wasn't Correct. really about legacy. Yeah, he wanted it was a promise. It he, wasn't really a promise. He wanted legacy. a child. See, what and that's what I want to take you back to Hebrews 11. Wait. When the commentary was that yeah, all these people, people believe God, but they why did the Bible? Uh, <laughs> see, mm -hmm. I don't know why you're getting this point. The Bible says straight from your church in the way they should go, go. and, and they will not be hard for me. Why? What do you mean why? Why? Because I'm not saying you shouldn't train your child. What I'm just saying why? that you just have a wait, problem wait, wait. with the word. That's why I'm saying no, I, I try that I, word. Not the word. No. I'm saying the obsession of it. And do you know why I'm obsessed with it? Why? why? 
You don't know why. Why? But why are you tell obsessed us. with it? This, and that is why I'm saying that is the problem. Let, let me tell you. Let, let me tell you. Yeah. Tell us. Yeah, you know, there's a discussion I had with um, some folks on the after campus fellowship mm -hmm. going back home, and yeah. they were asking me about. You when know, we were discussing about this relationship marriage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told the person I say, "Why I'm standing so strong on these things is this: if you look at how things work in the world, let me go scientific. Mm -hmm. yeah. What does entropy do? It decays, it increasing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until yeah. So the suddenness increases, yeah, there's increases. a natural yeah. thing. Uh -huh. So essentially what it means is that if this is the height of spirituality or mm -hmm. whatever I want to talk mm -hmm. about it, the general trend is for it to fall down. Mm -hmm. If you don't keep at it. Generally. Yeah. Yes. Now, why I'm obsessed with it is that I don't even want to see it fall down. Rather, I want to see it go up. Yeah. Okay. Now, there's this common saying that uh, every st there's a streak of madness in every gene or something yeah, like yeah. that. There's this book that called it, um, is it fanatic discipline? Okay. You have people that have made it all sucks. You have to be extreme to an extent to make it to make something happen. Okay. You just can't be normal. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. Saying that is why I'm obsessed with this thing. Do you know why so, I'm obsessed with it? Mm -hmm. There are many families, there are mm -hmm. many homes mm -hmm. in church. You are, you are witness. Mm -hmm. Father serving God, mother serving God. Now, it might be part of their fault or enemy fighting them, but whatever. Father serving God, mother serving God, children. Psh. Okay, so you think... And you think it, the obsession with... No, no, don't, 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 no, no, don't you get what I'm no, trying no, to he's say? he's trying to say something. So you're trying no, to say that. No, the I'm, reason why... Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. The idea... Don't get me wrong. The reason why mm -hmm. it seems as if I'm obsessed with this thing yeah. is, is that... Mm -hmm. let, let me put it this way. This is the way I want to live my life. And that is fine. But I, I'm, if that is the way you want to live your life, that is completely fine. Do you, and this but, is mm -hmm. why I'm saying this is this because when when I keep reading the Bible and I see different stories, different accounts. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can look at look at David for mm -hmm. example. Yeah. Basically, it was David was more like the only king that kept Israel together and was in favor with God, and God was in favor, you know, was on his side. Mm -hmm. After that, the thing just went downhill. Mm -hmm. Solomon, you just keep going. The kingdom mm -hmm. scattered, they mm -hmm. scattered. They mm -hmm. are I look at all these things, and I'm telling myself, and I, you know, no, they, he, he said it in the Bible it's because of what David did that some of the problems that happened. It's, it's still he's no, the, no, it's the cause of those problems. He, David with have, Solomon and every other thing. David might, it's the sin he committed with Uriah's wife. It is the sin he committed. Yeah. But don't forget that God told Solomon. God gave Solomon instruction. He said, Solomon, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do this for you. But don't do this. In fact, before David died, David told him, said, follow God. Do this, do this, do this. But, because, so even if God is going to meet judgment, it doesn't mean that you must. it must happen on your own time. No, that yeah. is not a point. No, look at Eli, for example. Let's, no, we are looking at Christ's example. So now you are talking of legacy. Are you still talking of that? Of course. Now, what happens to <laughs> Samuel that did all a good job and his children were nowhere to be see, found? See, my problem is not with legacy. My problem is obsession of legacy. Obsession and putting so that you think he is. There. Obsessed right. about the legacy. So the legacy is a natural. He's linking it to his marriage. Yeah, it's a not no. Even okay. that is fine, but it's a natural consequence of something. Okay. Yes. And if you become so much obsessed with it, you become a bit more driven towards. You see that as the tellios, mm -hmm. right? The end goal of it, mm -hmm. but that is not it. The end goal of your marriage will be to honor God. Whatever God does with that marriage. It's, you will never even live to see that. How you can be obsessed with your legacy. No. So, but where would that? Exactly. That's where, where, where you should, should have asked me the question then instead of saying. Honor oh, God, yes. Because the question is this: This is why I see it anyway. This is why I see. If I'm going to stand before God, you know, I don't <laughs> want. We, we go query. So God, you know what's God querying you about? So that, how, why didn't you order your family? No, because no, no. How, why was your legacy too small? No. <laughs> the legacy I'm talking of again, you see. Yeah. The legacy I'm talking no, of. No, what, what do you think God is going to ask you? Why was your legacy too small? No, God knows everybody, hmm? and God knows <laughs> the gifts and the strengths and the. That yeah, that person said, yeah, yeah and, and he knows, knows how you use yeah, it. Yeah. Yes, and no, how you use it. Is like the. Do you know the extent of to the of the gift? <laughs> Oh, the extent of your legacy, like that's the the thing. Wait, mm. you see, and do you know why I'm keep I keep standing on this thing because it did not take me one day, one two more two days to think about this thing. This this is the point. Apostle Paul, okay, what we say about Apostle Paul? 
what would I say? Mm-hmm. What would he, he himself no, say about of legacy, his legacy? That no, was the in terms of legacy, what will you say? <laughs> Look at what Apostle Paul was doing. Apostle Paul was driven. He said, forgetting the things that are behind. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm pressing on towards that mark. Uh Which was what? The mark of the price. Yeah. What I call it. That was not his Wait. Yeah, okay. We are not not understanding this. No, I (laughs) want. Because this guy says something. I'm going to to our topic now. Osgini says something. Osgini says something. He says that if you follow the Puritan, Mm -hmm. you would be able to know that they were they've swallowed the holy spirit mm. but if you look at the modern not current modern or yeah. you was talking about the 50s if you look at the modern american events mm. you tell them that they've swallowed the gyroscope <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like where is the metric leading me like and that is and, the and mis- it's because of the obsession the with mis- legacy that, that is the mm. misunderstanding you are having with what i'm saying okay. that's what <laughs> that, see you're talking about yeah. result driven stuff <laughs> That's what legacy that's, is about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so what is your legacy? What is your yeah. legacy? Yeah. That's why I said, why, I kept saying it. I said, why did you ask me? That but what else do you mean? What do you mean that legacy? legacy is? So if you want to read this my legacy, then that's this fine. Is my, this is my understanding of legacy. Okay. Uh-huh. If I'm interacting, let me put, in fact, let me use this phrase. Just simple. <laughs> let me use this phrase. Yeah. That anybody <laughs> that my path crosses in life, mm-hmm. after we leave, yes. after we leave, each interaction mm-hmm. that they should be able to thank God that we had that interaction. But you will never even know sometimes. Did I say that I need to know? You are not getting. You see, you are not even getting what so I'm trying to say. You don't need to know. But you, you don't need to know. You want to whatever. It you is. want to structure your life in such a way that, that you are an impact to everybody you come in contact with. Every single okay. step. Every single step. You mm-hmm. give birth to children before you even give birth to children. You, you know, agree. Think. Okay. How are we going to do this stuff when it rises up? Okay, even if it rises up, things can change. You know, okay. you, you don't just let life things happen no, to no, no. you. So that was the reason why I was saying that it's not about whatever legacy you want to live. It's okay. what God has endowed you with living that. You leave that legacy. No. Do you know why I say no? Tell me. See, mm-hmm. God has given you. It's just like God. God, you're praying. Oh, God, strengthen me. Mm-hmm. God is looking at you. I've given this man strength. Yeah, it's supposed. It is, but so, so you understand what I'm no, trying to cause, say? Because you are, I don't know if you no. are deliberately. Yeah, but no, 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 what I'm trying to say is that God, mm-hmm. God knows the two two people. Uh-huh. They have different levels of mm-hmm. gifts and grace and everything, mm-hmm. and God knows. Mm-hmm. So if this person is saying, "This is how, I, this is how God is leading me," or whatever, or, this is how I want to run, mm-hmm. and this other person say, "Oh no, no, this is how I want to run," mm-hmm. they are going their own ways. So at the end of your life, how would you know, how would you judge it? How I would judge it is, mm-hmm. if there is something I knew that I ought to do and I have the capacity to do and I did not do it, I failed in that area. Okay, okay. so then you wouldn't, so you are not going to even judge your end of life by your legacy because you wouldn't know. The legacy it. I'm talking about is not, oh, I'm going to see, it's on the last day we understand all those things now. And, okay. and so that, and so what, what, what talk- is your, obse- why is your obsession then? My obsession is this. Uh-huh. Because you will never see I it. Th- I think part of part of the issue is that mm-hmm. many believers are not obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Okay, I'm going to stop. Okay. You may have got... This is not a PhD. And I'm right. No, we need to be obsessed with God. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We need to be obsessed with God. Okay, 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 I agree. Okay. Obsessed with God, but not with legacy. That agree. is the point. That's the legacy I'm talking about. You, you should be focused on every single aspect to, to, to make you to do something. Because the usually. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Let, let me give this example. Okay. Uh-huh. The, the Wesley. Uh-huh. The Wesleyan, the Methodist. Mm. At least those two have ties with John Wesley, yeah, Charles yeah, Wesley, yeah, yeah, and yes. George Whitfield. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. okay. Although the those two branches, the mm-hmm. um, Methodist and the Wesleyan yeah. Yeah. and the other one, mm-hmm. they split into different small right, right, mm-hmm. right. But at least when I when I want to talk about legacy, they they left something mm-hmm. that you know fell through all those branches. Yeah, that's what I mean. But they did not They come. did not. They they, they yeah. did not leave necessarily to see it. Exactly. But they worked in such so a way. They will come to the end of life and they'll be wondering. No, legacy don't you get the point? They yeah. worked in such oh, a way. Oh, people point. think like that. Though. I'm not saying it's wrong. You need to, you need to, you need to read the life of John Wesley. 
Oh, I've read a portion of you know. If you read it, you begin to understand that all this thing you are saying, I don't know where you are getting it from. Which he, one? He was obsessed with. He, he, so he was obsessed he with. Was, his no, he was so obsessed that <laughs> obsessed with what? Let me explain. Let me explain. Yeah. He was so obsessed that with he was what? careful. <laughs> let me learn. Obsessed. You have to, to complete that with what? Obsessed. Before you continue. I'm trying to complete. Obsessed with legacy. He said he was obsessed. He People was can be obsessed with so many things. Okay. Obsessed with what? Because they are questioning is obsessed with legacy. Le- but you, if you're obsessed with God, I'm not going to talk now. Okay, sure, go ahead. Go ahead. Go he was so obsessed that he was, he, in fact, he got to a point, I'm going to give several examples, he got to a point that he stopped drinking, was it tea, for a while, and tried to use that money that he was spending, because he, he just found out that, ah, what am I drinking? Wait, wait, you, are mix, you are mixing up. No, no, no. I'm mixing things up. No. I'm not mixing things up. I'm not drinking tea because he needs to win source. No, let so what, what is he obsessed down. with? Winning source? Obsessed with uh, making Christians better. Basically, he bring. was obsessed to with leave a mark. Okay, let me not okay. use legacy. Like, so like you don't want to um, use that. Word. He was so obsessed to leave a mark. When I mean a mark, it doesn't mean oh, I'm going to leave this mark and I will see that oh, I've left this mark. He was living in his life in such a way that if he dies, at least he knew that he did what. God gave him the power and grace to do. And that is a very good sign. And that is end of story. That's yeah, what I mean. It comes out of it. That is what I mean. Yeah, but when people start talking about their legacy, when I'm not... No, around, that's, what I'm, that's what I mean. That's okay. why I keep saying that. Maybe it was the wrong choice of words. I, I told you, I said, okay, maybe it was the wrong choice. Which okay. one should I use? I told you this <laughs> thing. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know, guys, we have really gone on our topic. Sorry. We were talking <laughs> simply about <laughs> what is making people to be delayed in getting it's, married. It's always like How that. When, legacy. Yeah, it's always like that when two I professors. Mean, no, yeah. I'm not a professor. He has a PhD. <laughs> I'm a street person. <laughs> so, <laughs> so but it's in always summary, to be able you talked to about um, <laughs> you talked about the attitude of the woman. You talked about uh, economical and financial reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked about fear. fear. I talked about. And there was last thing I wanted to say, and mm. I saw that in my life, and the idea of you become addicted to living alone, right? Mm. And I lived alone for a while, and I yeah. liked it, mm-hmm. and so that addiction was like. Why do I have to bring somebody into my closet again to when I, I like because I could order my life around? I don't have to tell anybody I'm doing this, and uh, yeah, okay. mm-hmm. yes. and that's one thing that I noticed with some um, um, long term bachelors because they get <laughs> some to, long term bachelors, yeah, they're related into that. Yeah. <laughs> I have for their own routines, for some people, for some <laughs> they have they already have their routines, so you know, that when they wake up, they do this, they do this, they do this. <laughs> But you don't no, want to disrupt it. Trust me, when you get married, it changes. <laughs> it the changes, dynamics yeah. is completely different. Like, I can tell you that even when my kids came, when I had a baby, I was like, oh, God. Yeah. I used to enjoy that time when there was no one little right. person that's crying. It, it just yeah. needs me every time. Like, oh, boy. Your time is no longer yours. Mm-hmm. Your yeah. sleeping time changes. And of oh, course, that affects also yeah. the father. Mm. Right? Then talk more of when you get married. I mean, this is a little child. At least sometimes you give them, okay, you okay this is just a baby right but mm-hmm. when it's an adult that is now coming into your space and telling you that this is the right way now mm-hmm. how you're going to fix your house is no longer how she wants the house to be fixed as a man you might not like it mm-hmm. as a woman you are now free to decide that you're going to eat biscuits and go to bed <laughs> cookies mm-hmm. and go to I bed but the man says he feels like eating his mama <laughs> and they or pando yamo um, soup <laughs> You know, okay. whatever soup it is <laughs> that he wants to, he wants to eat, and then the lady that would have just maybe lay down and watched a movie or read a novel or talk to her friends and sleep off there doing that now has to change her normal routine mm-hmm. to now to take feeling, care of yeah. the man to be the wife. Mm-hmm. So a woman has to come to terms with the fact that I'm no longer the young lady that I used to be. Now I'm going to be the wife. And there's something I'm noticing among many young ladies. They don't really understand what it means to get married. Mm-hmm. They don't understand that when I get married, I'll have to take care of my home. Mm-hmm. They want to push their responsibility to other people. Some of them will bring their mom home. They want to do 50-50. They will even bring their mom to come and take care of their house for them. That doesn't make sense. How can your mom do everything for you? You are married have now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Their mom will take care of the baby. Their mom will cook for them. Their mom will clean for them. And they will be hiding on that. Oh, I'm going to work. Oh, I'm so busy. Oh, is it oh, for like a temporary... Oh, 
couple of months when they, they want it to even over. be longer. Oh wow. They almost want to say, okay, hmm. especially if their mom if their mom is not married them like if their mom has lost her husband yeah, 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 yeah. they feel that it's okay for so her to be there and to come and stay with us in the name of that they are no longer fulfilling their job as the wife of the world they want the man they want the man they want the man they want, the man, they want to be the wife uh-huh. mrs so and so so they want, want to bear the title but not not do the work but they don't need the responsibilities they, they want their husband. mother to do everything for them mm-hmm. or their little sisters to do everything for them and that's what if we're not Christians now in the world, mm. it can cause the man to fall into yeah. sin. Yeah. Right. Because at the end of the day, it becomes so close. If it's a mm. maid, he starts, mm. before you know it, he hardly, maybe he sees his wife, she just always looking beautiful mm. and crossing her fingers mm. and her legs mm. and just wants to sit down. And, and, I mean, you need to have, get but, dexter. But that is that dexter when I, when I, when I say that, many believers are no longer obsessed. Okay. People are laughing at me. No, this is not about obsession. No, the obsession I mean. This has nothing to do with obsession. No. It has to do with responsibility. But, but the, how, when you get married, how likely there are responsibilities. It, how right? likely what you painted? How likely is it in in Canada? Do you see that? I, I don't know. I yeah, want I've to heard hear of a family more. like that where uh, <laughs> they use the opportunity of okay, mommy is coming for um, after the baby was born, mm-hmm. and she's coming to help, mm. and then all of a sudden. Mommy, is, mommy is taking over and mommy is joining her daughter and dictating what the man will be doing mm. and you know making the girl she, she just starts behaving as if she was a young girl again at mm. home and her mommy is giving her instructions mm. and wow. she's following the instructions and then she's divided between her husband and the mommy wants some things mm. 